Hey everybody, this is Christian Crazy 10. Welcome to my 800 subscriber special video. Uh, a few things out of the way before I go into the 800 subscriber special stuff. First of all, I'm in a new place. Last time I, I shot the video, I was up by the utility closet up in the loft and it was really loud and it was really distracting for me and I'm sorry about that guys. I know it's probably really distracting for you too. So I'm down in the kitchen, dining room, whatever area and hopefully things are a little bit more quiet and it's not as much just whirring noise in the background. So second of all, I did go garage sailing this weekend. Um, it's the first chance that I've had to really seriously go garage sailing. I did go last weekend, but I wasn't out for very long. Um, the day after Independence Day, there just there wasn't a whole lot out there. But uh, today or yesterday, I found some really good stuff. I found a really nice lot of PlayStation stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through that stuff now, and then you know I'll get into the subscriber special stuff. So a little bit of background. Um, this was one of the last so um, sales that I stopped at. That day, um, I had kind of been going around and, and looking for stuff, just freestyling, and I really hadn't found much that I was interested in, and I just happened upon this sale. I mean, it was very poorly marked. I just kind of was driving around and found a random sign in the middle of a subdivision, and I, I went up there, and they had a, this PlayStation lot sitting there, and uh, I looked through the games. I was really happy with it, and actually, um, the, the PlayStation itself... Um, is a is a SCPH 1001, which is the first model, so it has the uh, the RCA out in the back. So uh, for everything that I'm going to show you here, as far as the PlayStation lot, I paid twenty dollars for, which is a great deal. Some really solid games here, and for the uh, the PlayStation itself, it's the most sought after version of the PlayStation. So I'm definitely going to keep a hold of this. I'm really excited to have it. So here's the PlayStation. It is a little dirty. Well, it's very dirty. But as you can see, it has the, um, the red, white, and yellow out on the back. So this is a version that has the, um, the really nice audio drivers and the, uh, the, the lasers, a really good quality laser. Uh, some people call this the audiophile PlayStation. But um, I'm definitely going to clean this up. It's definitely dirty, but um, I'm really excited to have this. I've been kind of on the, the lookout for this version, but I have had very little luck finding one. And, I just actually, I didn't. I just found this out like two minutes ago when I was just getting all this laid out for the video that this was an audio file. So, really happy about that. That was just a, a nice bonus, and this was a great deal as it was for twenty bucks, and I just made it even sweeter. So, uh, now for the well, I'll show you all the, the uh, accessories. Uh, it does come with the first party memory card, which is good because everything I have for PlayStation is a performance brand, so it's nice to have an official one. And it came with a regular controller with the no analog sticks came with a DualShock controller and it came with a crappy Mad Cats third party controller which I will probably just throw away. Uh, it also came with the power cord and the video cord. They are both official and pretty decent condition. I mean they're, they're cords. And it also came with two controller extensions which is very nice. I'm going to give one of these to my girlfriend's sister because she always pulls the controller out of the PlayStation and uh, stops the games and it's really obnoxious to watch so I'm gonna give her one of these and uh, now that's not gonna be a problem anymore so let's go into the games one PS2 game they didn't have a PS2 they have no idea how they got a hold of this but they just threw it in for free and that's puzzle challenge crosswords I like crosswords but I'm not really interested in this game if I'm gonna play a crossword game I'll probably play it on my phone on the train or something like that it's just there's no reason to have a PS2 game for this so um, if anyone wants it, just let me know. If you want to just pay postage, I'll send it to you. If not, I'll probably just throw it in a lot of stuff that I'm selling. And then on to the PlayStation games. One disc only game here, Tetris Plus. Um, I don't really know much about this version of Tetris. You know, I like Tetris, so this, this could be good. I have no idea, but um, unless it's like rare or valuable or anything, I'm not going to keep a hold of it because I don't like having my games disc only. So that'll go in a lot unless someone else wants it or I end up keeping it, whatever. So here's the complete games. We've got two extreme. It's like a X Games kind of game. They just have like buzzwords on the back of it, and then just very basic description of the game. I'm not really that interested in it. Um, Frogger, which looks like a pretty decent game actually. I haven't played this version of Frogger. I played a PC version of Frogger, a uh, 3D Frogger game a while ago, and it was pretty fun. And this looks nice. It's got the original Frogger levels and other like mini game looking things. It looks pretty interesting so I might give it a try. Next is Spot Goes to Hollywood. This is a isometric platformer kind of similar to like Sonic 3D Blast it looks like. Um, 
I haven't really ever heard of this game. I didn't realize there was a spot game on the PlayStation. I have the one on uh, uh, Genesis, but this was pretty cool to find, I guess. This is one I'm really happy to find. I love this game. Bust a Move 4. It's not really rare, valuable, or anything like that, but I really, really love the Bust a Move games. I've got Bust a Move or Bust a Groove or something on PlayStation 2, and um, I've played through countless versions of this on like my phone and in arcades and stuff like that. So uh, it's a Natsume title, which is really cool. So, yeah, I'm really happy to find this. Um, another game I'm really happy to find is Crash Bandicoot Warped. I have Crash Bandicoot 2, I think it's called Wrath of Cortex, and I 101%ed that thing, and I've been looking for the other Crash games, and uh, there we got uh, Crash Warped. I think this is the third one. So, I'm still looking for this black label, and I'm also still looking for Crash 1 black label, but um, actually, you know what? I might have this, the collector's edition one of this, so I'll have to check that. But, um, yeah, really happy to find that. That's a good find. The first Twisted Metal. Unfortunately, greatest hits. But I was a big fan of Twisted Metal Black on the PlayStation 2. And, you know, this is obviously where it all started. Um, I just, I'm really, really excited to give this a play. If it plays anything like Twisted Metal Black, I mean, I'm sure it will. It's pretty much the same game, just with a not as serious storyline. Uh, I will definitely, definitely enjoy it. Some really good stuff now. we got Spyro, Ripto's Rage. It's got the hollow foil cover, black label. This is a great find. I uh, I have Ripto's Rage, but it's like disc only, and it was a greatest hits copy. It was the one that I originally got with the PlayStation 2 about 10 or 12 years ago. We just uh, there were like no PS2 games out at the time that we were really interested in. My dad and I, so we picked up some old guitar or PlayStation 1 games, and we picked up all the Spyro games and like all the Tomb Raider games. These were just incredible games. I'm really happy to get this black label. And um, yeah, this is, a, this is a great addition to the lot. And the last one is definitely a hidden gem. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. And I'm really, really excited to finally get a copy of this. And that's the original Ape Escape Black Label. Um, this is a really, really cool game. It's a platformer with some mini games. There's quick time events. Um, and it uses the analog control. This is the first game to use analog control. And I've been looking out for this game for a while. I saw Metal Jesus Rocks do a video and featured this on it. And it just kind of reminded me that I you know, was looking for this game. And um, I just hadn't really thought about it for a while. And then I found it at the garage sale like two days later. So that was really cool. So that was the PlayStation Lot, guys. Again, that was 20 bucks all in. And I'm really happy about that. You know, some of the games here are $15 games. And the PlayStation is worth quite a bit on its own. So really happy about that. That was a great find. Alright, so the battery on my camera is dying, so I'm going to try to get through this uh, subscriber special stuff quickly. Um, I'm going to do this a little bit different than my 500 subscriber special and my other subscriber special specials. Um, before, I did kind of a Q&A thing, and that got really out of hand really fast. I think I did like a four or five part Q&A video because I got so many questions. And it's not that I don't like answering questions, it's just that right now I just don't have time to do that. But I do want some input from you guys, and so the what I've devised is basically some some way for us to kind of talk about an issue in gaming that a lot of people feel very passionately about and I just kind of I, I like talking about it so basically the question is uh, what do you think of video games as art what is your opinion on video games as art and basically the way to enter is if you leave a comment explaining your your opinion it can be multiple posts because I know the 500 character limits kind of prohibitive um, but for each for if you if you make a post that you know it's a reasonable post, you'll get one entry, and if you make a video response, you'll get two entries. And just you know, leave it as a video response to this video. I'll accept it or set it to auto accept or whatever, and you'll get two entries for that. So basically, just uh, give me your opinion straight up. You know, if you're for or against it, and obviously if you're for, it would be very beneficial for you to cite some examples why you think those are good examples. And if you are against it, um, I'd be very interested to hear your opinion on that too and uh, just kind of try to substantiate it in some way so it's not just like, I think video games are art and then end your video, you know what I'm saying? So basically what's going to happen after that is, regardless of your opinion, I'm going to pick the three best formulated and most convincing answers um, and I'm going to basically just uh, award them you know, first, second, or third place and I will make a video about it and I'll get in contact with you guys afterwards. And the way that I'm going to do the prizes is Obviously, since everyone you know doesn't have every single system, 
I wanted to do something that would make sure that everyone gets a game that they're going to be happy with. So for each place, I have three games, one for PlayStation 3, one for Xbox 360, and one for Wii. Uh, the third, the third place winner can pick any of the third place options. Second place winner can pick anything from third place or second place, and the first place winner can pick from any of the, the, the nine games. And it doesn't matter if someone's already picked it, I'm going to you know, buy new games from Amazon. So basically this will get you guys exactly what you want, um, and I think that's a really good way to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and run through the games really fast. For third place, you're eligible to win Valkyria Chronicles for PlayStation 3, Infinite Undiscovery for Xbox 360, or Cursed Mountain Limited Edition that comes in the, the Steelbook case for Wii. Second place, for PlayStation 3, you're eligible to win Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, for Xbox 360, Halo 4, and for Wii, The Last Story. And lastly, number one, uh, these are a little bit more expensive games. For PlayStation 3, you're eligible to win The Last of Us. For Xbox 360, you're eligible to win Magna Carta 2. And for Wii, you're eligible to win the Monster Hunter Tri Controller Bundle. So, as I mentioned, you know, third place gets their pick of anything in third place. Second place gets their pick of anything in third place or second place. And first place can pick any of the things on the list. And I will contact you guys after the contest is done and after the, the video is posted. I'll get what you guys want. And I'll also um, give you an illustration of one of the characters in the game. Uh, with the game itself, so you can have something a little bit more personal there. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Good luck with the entries. I look forward to hearing your guys' opinions on the matter of whether video games are art or not. Um, so, again, thank you guys very much for watching. Thanks for everybody who subscribed. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have given me throughout the the, uh, the years I've been doing this. And thanks for watching my videos and and uh, leaving comments and stuff. So, uh, with that with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.